So after further review of the crack in the cylinder sleeve, we decided to go with the RRF method. Uh, realize, rationalize, and forget. I mean, the thing looks like it was running, and it, it crossed my mind to uh, use some high nickel rod and try and weld that up and then regrind it down, but I think it's probably just going to end up causing more problems with warpage and shrinkage and, uh, you know, maybe other pieces breaking off. Since this ends in the transfer port, hopefully that's a good crack termination, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, just in time after I buttoned the uh, bottom end back together, I found a gasket set, and of course it includes crank seals that probably would have fit. Oh well, save them for next time, I guess. I will say, though, it was a little bit tough trying to get those gaskets in there and aligned. There's nothing really holding them except gravity and faith. I don't know uh, which cylinder was uh, not sparking too great, but I went through and cleaned up both sets of points. When we get the breaker cam in there, we'll double check, make sure the gap's, you know, close to where it needs to be. I mean, the pulley still spins. I guess that's all we can ask of it. And the belt is, uh, getting pretty sketchy. But, good thing about a mid-mount sled is you can just keep an eye on the engine. And, uh, if it throws the fan belt and quits blowing, um stop before it blows so we're gonna go through the carburetor real quick fuel filter this gasket here is already rock hard so that would have been leaking so we'll put a new filter on it and uh, we'll see if any of the diaphragms are needing replacement well most common cause the tillotson is not running right the uh, diaphragm is pretty much solid so, we're going to have to find a new one of those somewhere. Looks like somebody installed one of those um, uh, glass ball type needle valves in there. So I guess we'll see if that works. Back into the miscellaneous pile. I found a nice used diaphragm, but it's still nice and soft. So, see if we can get the get the old one removed without damaging any of the other gaskets well there's some top quality Taiwan made parts fuel filters cracked right out of the box so I put the new new gasket from that one just put it on the old filter now things are starting to come back together Even though the clutch wasn't too bad, took it all apart, you know, cleaned up all the weight pivots and the uh, sliding shafts and relubricated it, put it back together. All right, we're at the point now where we're going to see if it actually runs before we go through all the trouble of, you know, fixing the seat and the hood and, you know, all that extra stuff you really don't need. All right, we'll put a little bit of gas in there. See what happens. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more gas.
Yellow. Well, you know what that is? It's part of the rubber track idler in the back. So it looks like those are kind of self-destructing. Huh. Crap. Might be taking this thing apart after all. Well, since the uh, you know test stand run went all right so far, gonna try and put the rest of this thing roughly back together. Now this is hard to find. I've been looking for this for a while, and I actually scored a case of it today. Now I've got a salvage duct tape that I found in the trunk or uh, toolbox of some sled. I don't even remember where I got it, but it was sitting underwater for a while. But the adhesive's still good, so good enough for a seat cover job like this. Now there's a job well done. And we even donated a good bungee cord to the cause. So a riding lesson, you know if you're out cruising on this thing and you got her wide open and it starts making some uh, bad noises and you can't let off, I turn your head to the side because you know you've got that cracked sleeve and iffy rings and um, everything else you got going on down there. Well we had to max out the adjustment on the brake cable but we actually got a little bit of braking power going on so we'll just treat that as an emergency brake and just use it sparingly. That didn't last long so we got it back in once again now we're getting the exhaust set up nothing but the best of flex pipe and we're kind of using a hammer to uh, fit it into the stock location there you know we can't chop up this fine specimen of a sled there it is just like it came from the factory. It's going to need a little bit of bailing wire to keep that one pipe out of the secondary clutch, but I'd say it uh, fits pretty good. I'm sure that rubber will probably melt away, but... Well, time to give this thing a test run. Custom fit cover is holding up pretty good. Figures the recoil is going out. <laughs> A little bit too much choke.
looks like we got some uh, some more lugs missing.